welcome back obviously got the new mic uh got the bike out uh and we're gonna see how well this mic does i did a, a little test uh the other day whenever it came in because it was raining all day i just went out for like 10 minutes if that uh just to check and uh see how it would do should be doing fine so hopefully it stays that way during the video um yeah it didn't have any crackling or pops whenever i did the test so hopefully you know that doesn't change all right uh today's video don't really have like a certain thing i'm gonna be talking about this is just gonna be like a more chilled back style just riding you know talking about whatever i want um but yeah thanks for being patient while this micro new microphone was coming in because yeah it was annoying me not being able to make a video um but at the same time like i had taken apart the other helmet because i needed the gopro on there and stuff and then yeah i just didn't feel like using that ten dollar mic to make another video so and then the oh, there's a car coming the mic did come a little early it was supposed to come on monday and then it came on saturday or friday and then today sunday so uh, yeah that's good that it came a little early would have sucked having to wait till monday well tomorrow because it's not even monday yet so i won't even have the mic yet so yeah that would be awful oh. all right here we are coming up to a 50 mile an hour road but you know you can increase 55 so y'all see that this mic is good oh yeah i need to go for that truck or else I ain't gonna be able to go 55. I'm gonna be stuck behind him. There we go. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah. Got the new mic, so now I'm gonna be able to take y'all on roads where the speed limit's like 55 and up because there's some nice, like, back roads, I guess, that have, like, the higher speed limits. And then, uh, you know, trying to show you guys those roads. But I couldn't before because all you would hear is just a bunch of loud cracking and pop popping noise uh, coming through the mic. And yeah, that's annoying. So, going 57 right now. Hopefully, there's no popping. Shouldn't be. yeah so also for my channel um i know it's like my harley is my main bike and all but uh i definitely don't want it just to be about only harley stuff you know uh eventually in the future maybe i'll get another bike and it'll be like a naked or a sport bike something to have fun on for like i like taking this uh low rider s on like longer rides and stuff but if i'm just trying to go out for a shorter ride where i'm only trying to go out for like 10 15 minutes or 20 minutes you know it'd be it'd be nice to take a naked or sport bike out but this is definitely my main bike and all that but i definitely don't want this channel just to be uh harley you know i know a lot of you guys subscribe for the uh, harley lowrider s but um eventually i'd like to get a couple of different bikes on here uh speaking of that i still have the kawasaki c400 and I was thinking about just doing a couple videos on the on like doing a couple videos on it uh, mainly just because you know that's what that's what started my whole motorcycle journey right there was the Kawasaki Z400 and I you know I'd like to have a couple of videos on it before I, it gets sold you know um, they like obviously the lowrider is the main bike yeah but you know I still want to do a couple videos like that where I ride different kinds of bikes if, if possible you know I'm not saying I'm out here going to be buying new bikes right now. Right now, that's not in the... Uh, that's not pretty really possible for me to do right now. So, I'm just saying in the future, I definitely do want to do more than just Harleys. 
obviously Harley is going to be my main bike if I go do anything because I have a bad back and then my Harley is comfortable compared to the other bikes but nice to have other little you know side toys on the back oh. so yeah I've definitely been thinking about doing a couple of videos on the Harley make up your mind what lane you're going to be in bro God. Dude's halfway in my lane and the other lane. Like, come on now. It's gonna be weird uh, riding the Z400 after after all that time. Because, like I said, uh, first after I was a little bit used to the low rider house, I did set on the Z400 once to like move it to a different spot in the driveway and. Man, that bike felt so tiny. Obviously, it's only a 400. Um, but yeah, compared to the Lowrider S, like that thing was like a scooter. But yeah, I definitely do want to do some videos on it. You know, it's a good bike. Like I said in other videos, I'd recommend it to anybody who's starting out. It would be kind of cool to keep it, you know, and then have that if I, like, for the mess around bike, but then again, like, yeah. If you're just going to sell it, get the money for it, and then eventually later on, if I have the means, then I'll get a second bike. Um, you know, hopefully if this channel gets big enough, I'll be able to do, like, test rides and stuff from dealerships. That would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be dope. But yeah, definitely gotta get a, a lot more subscribers for that. And then just keep working at the YouTube channel. I'm not trying to rush into like all that stuff. I'm trying to do everything right. Now this bike is so amazing. If you haven't test driven a lowrider S, then you should go do it, man. You know, people will love this bike for a reason. Obviously, just like all sought after bikes. Um, I'm gonna have to loosen that chin curtain. That thing's choking me a little bit. It's annoying. There, biker. Yeah, yes, sir. There we go, baby. definitely did not get as many waves i mean i got waves on my z400 from like sport bikes and stuff and then a couple harleys and then out of motorcycle cop one time waved to me but yeah even if i'm on the lowrider s like some harley dudes like they'll still like just stare at you and give you like the straight blank face like they gotta prove something to you or something i don't know i mean that's why i just wait for people to wave first because I don't feel like looking the fool waving to someone and then no, like everybody's like why the fuck like you don't even know that guy but you know whatever that's just me and I'll wave at any I'll wave back at anybody so that's all I'm trying to say like these scooters if they want to wave at me I'll wave at them but yeah they didn't but still that's pretty cool though the two I think there are a couple on scooter that's pretty cool I haven't seen that before around here that's pretty awesome I know if you live in like a big city, you know, scooters and mopeds, like, shoot, those are awesome to have. I grew up in France, lived there for like three years. All you see in the cities in France and Europe is mopeds, scooters, and supermotos. And they're like, they're, yeah, obviously there's sport bikes and stuff there, but like, riding a moped or something like that isn't considered like girly or something like that. Like, dudes drive that crap all the time and girls love that shit, man. So, you know, who cares what you ride? Just make sure you always wear a helmet when you're filming. Yeah, 
it's hot outside today. I had to throw on some sunblock on my arms before I went out just because I used to not do that and then I'm not I'm really not trying to get any skin cancer or anything like that like heck no gave him the head nod I couldn't see his hand so I didn't really see it till lesson but hopefully he got my little head nod recently redid the dang uh like there's a bunch of cracks in the road in our neighborhood so they recently came back over with like the, the asphalt thing and they've been putting down like tar snakes everywhere it's been making the road so like crazy uh slippery you know that's the closest i've ever come to like falling off my bike is actually going like 10 miles an hour trying to you know uh not freaking crash on that crap Nice little ZX6R, I think. Couldn't tell if it's a 400 or a 600, you know. Going too fast. I still have sport bikes waved to me and stuff sometimes, but not all the time. One of the big things I'm trying to work on while I ride is like uh, not getting too mad at somebody if like accidentally get cut off or something like that because I mean I am i don't really have that many close calls because I'm you know I'm driving defensively and you know I'm not trying to mess myself up uh, I'm not trying to be on like the those dudes on like moto madness to where every time you see a compilation they're in there like having some sort of close call I forgot who said it, but if you're having that many close calls every time you ride, then it's you're doing something wrong. Um, I've been riding for like over a year, a little uh, more than over a year now, but uh, I only had three close calls that entire time. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good. So no, that's just me, but. Uh, yeah, one of those things, like, if this person would have pulled out in front of me, I definitely would have gotten mad. And then, yeah, you just gotta, you know, some, not everybody's trying to kill you out here. Some people, they make mistakes, you know. And it's just best to go on with your day and everything like that. Uh, I'm still practicing that, you know. There are times when I do get really mad when someone does something, and then, you know, we ain't gonna go into further detail after, but... Yeah, it's just safer to just let things go, you know. If you got it on GoPro, you got it on GoPro. Let them know. Hopefully this video hasn't been too boring. I didn't really have much to talk about today. Three rams in a row. You know, just go out there, ride, be safe, and then have some fun. That's all that matters in the end. As long as you're having a good time on two wheels and staying safe, man.
All right, y'all be able to hear this. See the, the tar snakes here in a second, actually. If I do decide to leave this in the, in the vlog. Yeah, right here. So these aren't like the other ones that you see on like that. These are like fresh, so they're not like worn into the ground. So there's like a a little, they're not completely flat on the, uh, on the ground. So definitely be careful. I've never ridden on something like this, like fresh before. And it was sketchy when they were first putting it down because it was like fresh and I was riding over it. I didn't want the want it to flick up on my bike, on my paint, you know. So I don't know. Hopefully it just gets uh, worn in a lot sooner than later because, yeah, it's sketchy as heck. I have to make all these turns even more slower than before because I don't want the freaking wheels to slip out from under me because that's what it feels like every time I ride over them. Well, that's that's gonna be the end of this vlog right here uh i think maybe the next time i do a video i'll be taking the the uh, kawasaki z400 out for a ride for you guys uh just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in or you'd like to see but uh thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for the next time